Hey guys, welcome to practice. Um, so this is practice two uh, from my book, 100 Mindfulness Meditations. I'm gonna be working through all of the practices in the book over the next 100 videos. Um, so we're looking at practice two, which is awareness of breathing. Uh, if you wanna follow along at home, the book's available on Amazon, so you can go grab it there. Um, within this practice, there are three ways that we look at the breath within practice. Um, so the first is simply by following the breath into the body. Um, and the breath is thought of in many of the wisdom traditions as the bridge, the bridge between our external awareness, eyes looking out, and internal awareness, so awareness of sensations, images, feelings, thoughts within the body. Um, so one of the things that we can do, and if you've been following my uh, practices um, along, you'll notice that we quite often follow the breath, literally trace it from the nostrils up to the back of the nose, down into the airways, feel the air splitting off into the lungs, the rise and fall of the lungs, the chest expanding, releasing, diaphragm up and down and so on. And actually really getting in touch with the journey that the breath takes. Because when we do that, our awareness can't help but really travel into the body. Um, and that's what we're doing. At the end of the day, mindfulness is a practice of embodiment. Um, so we'll have a look at all of these, these three in a practice at the end. Um, so we've got following the breath into the body. The second one is just tuning in and checking out the four phases of the breath, which is super simple. So we've got inhalation, pause, exhalation, pause. Yeah, so actually it's not just in, out, in, out, which is what we often think of. If we really drop into the breath, you notice that there's these little still points uh, at each end of the breath. So you get this inhalation, pause, exhalation, pause. So really nice, the kind of birth and death of the breath itself in a little rhythm. And we can really tune into that and notice, you know, what are the things that occur within my awareness, within my body, within my feelings and so on, within those four different phases. So just checking that out as well. And then one of the best known uh, practices with the breath is just breath counting. Um, so for breath counting, my way of doing it is we, uh, we do one on the inhale, one on the exhale, two on the inhale, two on the exhale. So essentially we're going through that full round of breath. So one, one, two, two. Yeah, whatever your rhythm is, it's, it's not about keeping up with a teacher or breathing at the same pace as anyone else, but just counting the breath as it is in your body. Um, but one, one just helps us get that full circle, that cycle of breath. Um, so if you'd like to actually give, give this a go, we're gonna do a short practice where we're actually gonna look at each of those three different things. Um, so if you're ready, uh, we're just going to find our seat. Uh, if it's appropriate for you to be sitting down, uh, grab somewhere to sit down. If not, uh, maybe just listen along, uh, close your eyes if appropriate or not. Um, you can just watch um, and try the practice at another time. Okay, so just closing the eyes and just allowing our curiosity to gather at the nostrils. And what we're looking for are those very first sensations of the breath as it meets the body. And this is such a, a beautiful point of contact between our external world and our internal world as it really is the entrance to the awareness. We enter on the breath into our practice. And we're breathing in through the nose and out through the nose lips together, teeth slightly apart. Noticing the breath just as it is, not trying to affect it or change it in any way. And as we gather our curiosity at the nostrils, just allowing ourselves to travel with the next inhale up up to the back of the nose. So just really getting a sense of the felt sensations of that passage. And if you can, I always like to direct people to the point where the breath changes direction from moving up through the nose to where it actually starts heading down into the body. 
actually when we feel like we're breathing in, it feels like it's all going up. But actually the, the path that the breath takes is, is straight down into the lungs. So just getting a felt sense of that by noticing the point where at the back of the nose it changes direction. And once you feel like you've got a sense of that change of direction, the felt sense of that point, just following the breath down into the airways, traveling down the back of the throat, down the trachea, and then just noticing that feeling of the breath splitting off into the lungs. The lungs are not as deep in the body as most people feel they are. They're a little higher up. So just getting that sense of where, where is actually that happening. And we don't need to guess, you can actually feel it in your body. And then just noticing the lungs expanding, releasing. Expanding, releasing. And here's a great point for us to just check out the second variation of this practice, just to notice the four phases of the breath. So I just want you to name them silently in your own practice as inhale, pause, exhale, pause. And just do that for a few rounds of breath, just noticing those four different elements of the breath at four different phases and just being curious, checking them out. And as we tune in to this cycle of the breath, we can also just do a little bit of breath counting. So remember it's inhale one, exhale one, inhale two, exhale two. So just maybe doing five or six rounds of breath. And then in your own time, just allowing the eyes to open. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed those three different variations. You can obviously read more about those practices in the book itself. Um, I'll be back uh, next week with practice three. Obviously those three little practices you can expand out. You could do a whole 10 minute practice just counting your breath, going up to 10 and then starting again at one going round and around or going up as high as you can and each time you get distracted, come back, start again at one. Or just checking out those four different variations of the breath and just using that as the entry point and seeing where it takes you in your practice. So have a great week and see you next time.